Hello and welcome to a glorious day. It's not the cat talking, it's me. This is spooky and she's been a good girl so she's sitting out in the garden with us. She is an indoor cat but as I've said before she's loud out. Okay, I just thought I'd show you my teasel before I start because this is gorgeous and it's growing right where the pathway goes onto the deck but because it's so beautiful and these are fantastic for insects by the way. They're a native British plant. I thought I'd show you it. Okay, so here is the concrete bumblebee hotel stroke nest stroke whatever you want to call it i couldn't find an official name for a bumblebee nest online but if anyone knows it please put it in the comments below hello mr slug so this is really quite simple really it turned out okay but it was a nightmare it's made from a trough a plastic planter trough i laid down a base of concrete uh, about an inch thick with some plastic webbing to for sort of rebar if you like and then filled up a pot full of concrete and turned it upside down and put it onto the base of uh, the, of concrete with a couple of flaps each end for the bees to hopefully land on some ventilation holes either side and two entrance holes one at each end we had a nightmare because the ceiling collapsed um only half of the ceiling sort of the half underneath the plastic rebar i know it's collapsed because i put my finger in and i could feel it but i it's not a bad idea it's um it's coming all right so i'm gonna let you know later on what it was like but i'm pretty pleased with it for something i had no idea it would work so uh i will do another video in the near future once it's all painted and finished I'll leave you with some music and my insect hotels, which are full of life. So please enjoy, hit like and subscribe and put any comments below. I'll be more than happy to answer any questions about the uh, in the bee, bumblebee nest, but I really have no clue if it's going to work, but I'll give it a try. Thanks for watching. See you later. Thank you.